upon. And if they didn't understand before, which I actually believe that a lot of people did, but they kind of ignored it, and now it's just directly in their face, who else is talking about this to get this solved? Who else is going to do something about it? You have to talk about a an, an issue for it to be solved. Right. Where, I, also, I, I, I never also, said anything about that. You know, you know why? Being quiet about Hold on one at a time, guys. You know what I'm saying? You know why? But it, I never said it, anything about being quiet about it, though. But you're saying that it's counterproductive to talk about it, right? Because because what is it doing? You, you, you're saying we're talking about it right now as if this is not something that we've been talking about since the beginning of time. So what is your recommendation? We haven't been since the beginning of time, but... Right, correct. So what is your recommendation then? My, if, my if the manner in which it's being spoken about you feel is counterproductive, what is your um, recommendation? Because it's not necessarily a recommendation. Like, uh, as, no, you far need as, solutions. as far as as far as as far as like white supremacy and the way that we're talking about it, we're trying. It, it seems as if we're still trying to get white people to acknowledge white supremacy and and all of that for whatever reason. In twenty twenty three, really doesn't matter when we when we have <clears throat> we have the opportunity. To, to gather resources and, and build our own Black Wall Streets again. And it's not in the Jim Crow era. It's not, okay, in, but, a, it's not in the Willie Lynch era. Okay, like, first off, Willie Lynch didn't exist as a person. Like, when the letters were, like, bunk in the first place, number one. Number two, fine, we could build our own Black Wall Streets. That would be wonderful. That's what we're all advocating for. It would be awesome. However, what's going to happen? Another Tulsa another Seneca village another that's the that's what we're talking about we need for people to understand that if we're going to build up our community then we need to make sure that there are things in place whether it's laws whether it is something I don't know what but, 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 but reforms but, but, that need to make sure that there are consequences for then doing anything to stop that forward moving progression Okay, but this no. is this is where it becomes counterproductive because the same people that are the same people that are oppressing us, we're steady asking, we're steady trying to raise this awareness so that we can build a Black Wall Street, so that. But we should be able to learn from from those times that we didn't have a we didn't have a line of de, of defense for anything that we we are able to accumulate. There so were militias anything, actually, but they were overpowered. So, I need to ask a question because, like, when you're talking about counterproductivity, right? The issue here is is that like you're talking about we need things in order to build our own black wall streets in order to build our own communities um how do you feel about this this goes with it right how do you feel about the brianna taylor situation it's fucked up like i don't I, what do you mean can i can i comment on that so sure how do you feel about the Breonna taylor situation so i feel like that was screwed up because first off you know, why they serving no knocks like that? You know what I'm saying? Second off, why you shooting in people's domiciles? I mean, why you pew pewing in people's domiciles? Third off, you know, how you at the wrong address? Why that happened so much? Fourth off, you know what I'm saying? Why y'all, you, why y'all, you know, why y'all, why y'all bothering people? You know what I'm saying? Like, why y'all bothering us? Why y'all want to bother us? That's how I feel. So if you believe that the Brianna Taylor situation was messed up and they can go to her house where she resides and it was the wrong address fire rounds into her house randomly and not be charged with a crime how do you think we will get away with black wall street when they send the national guard down there to just like throw tear gas at us and arrest us in mass numbers right. because at best that the only thing that they were trying to get was the fact that a stray bullet hit a wall in a white woman's house so what How do you guys feel about the fact that Jalen Walker was pew pewed so many times and the police are back at work less than a few months later? Okay, so even with that being said, like with that being said, the same people that we're looking to get justice for are the people that are allowing this. What? That's why this situation is counterproductive. Wait, white what? supremacy and racism is uh, this is something that's, that's going on. It's embedded in this. It's embedded in this country. Racism this is, is embedded Correct. in this country. Correct. Okay, but what like, that's, 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 people that's, that are fighting for people allowing it? Uh, uh, what'd you say? What are you talking about? The people who are fighting against it are the same people who are to happen. 
I don't know why you are. Is, is he break? Is, are they uh breaking in and out for for me? Anybody other than me? Yeah, he was breaking out. I didn't get to hear what she, he said. She, she, she. My fault. My fault. My fault. Can you hear okay. me? Am I am I better now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Kind of not really what, though. What do you mean the people who are fighting for it are the same people allowing it to, or fighting against it are the same people who are allowing it to happen? What does that mean? What I, what I'm meaning by that is like the same way how <clears throat> the same way the police and and, and the Breonna Taylor with the no knock and and shot, you know what I'm saying? The same way that that happened and it was allowed to happen in this system. Who are we crying this cry to? Okay, I think I get what you're saying. So, what do you suggest we do? We have history Wait. to look at what we can do, and and we're we're in a time. We're in a time right now where we hey. all have access Liberty, to... Liberty, give me one second, please. I, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Lady Jojo 627. Are you still here? Just give me, just hold that thought, Liberated. Don't, don't lose it. I'm sorry. Lady Jojo, you here? Still? Okay, I guess she's not here. Go ahead, um, Liberated. I may interrupt again if she comes through again, but go ahead, babe. Like the, the 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 reason why I said the the it's it's within the context of how this is like okay. <clears throat> it's 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 just stating the obvious. I rose the question in the live that I did earlier. Like do so, do some are some black people still choosing to live in victimhood of of maybe 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 I don't know for sure. Maybe maybe some of us are just waking up to the the whole like systematic way of how it's all been going down. But like just how when truth came up here, like I don't I don't I, I feel the same way. Like I don't I don't walk around in a way feeling inferior or that white supremacy can stop me from doing what I need to do and get done. Who the fuck here said that? We've said Nobody said times that. that. <laughs> that yeah, I'm freaking yeah. out. No, we said multiple times that. No, I didn't. Like, he said that. I didn't say anybody said that. I just said I share that same sentiment. That? It's true. Who walks me, around saying that? Way. Nobody walks around saying that. But Nobody me, walks around doing that. We acknowledge that these problems are here. We still fight every day. We still go to school. We still we still educate ourselves. We go to work. We still provide for our families. Who who said okay, that? Okay, but but this, but, but like, like, this is the thing. But, but we still go to school. We still go to work within this same system that we're complaining about. When no, we have the opportunity, because we won't survive we if we don't. Like, like yo, dog, this is this is mad ignorance. Because like even when it comes to the idea of walking around saying like, oh, white supremacy can't stop me from doing what I want to do. Go to Wells Fargo and try to get a business loan. They've admitted to racial discrimination against exactly. black people when it comes to business loans. You can't help that white supremacy holds you back. And when it comes to okay, but okay, okay, but listen, just like when it comes to a white supremacy, go to Wells Fargo and get a business loan. When it comes to a victim mentality, when it comes you to you said go to Wells Fargo and get a business loan. When it comes, why would I be surprised if they didn't give me a business loan? Hey, one guys, guys, one at a time, please. Right. So when it comes to victim mentality, the idea of victim mentality is someone pretending to be a victim when they're actually not a victim. Black people are actually victims of Thank racial you. discrimination yeah. within the United States. So you're using words you don't even know what they mean in order to make a point that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Because Girl, if, if, if you go to if you go to Wells Fargo, if you go to Wells Fargo and you don't get the loan because you're black, are you surprised by that? This is a system that we're it's a white supremacy of system, and you just said about. white supremacy won't hold you back from doing what it is that you want to do. So Wait, if you I, think to because I, I, I honestly <laughs> wouldn't go to fucking Wells Fargo to get a loan. You know what I'm so saying? So like, are you I going to? Hey guys, guys, one at a time, please. To come together and have like a violent revolution in order to dismantle the system and create a just... nation. Is that what you're saying? You said. Hey, I'll yeah. be down. What's up? What's poppin'? Okay, but okay. no. Let's let's no, be sorry. realistic. Let's no, be no, very no, realistic. No, 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 no. Wait, wait I get his perspective, because I'm the same way. Um I'm a separatist. I be, I want a black nation. Um I I understand that violence is needed in order to have a revolution. Um 
So I'm with that. And I get it. He's tired. I'm tired. Shoot. Sometimes I say the same thing. So I can't knock him for that. I've said it on here multiple times. I'm not advocating violence to get a different result. That's not what I'm advocating. For educational it's purposes only, TikTok. So I don't right, think right, right. <laughs> we're tired. So like liberate. Right, say it again. <laughs> let, let, let's, I don't think he's tired mm-hmm. in the same way that we're tired. So liberate him. What is your political ide- or like your philosophical ideology? Yeah, like even when you even if you, if it came down to if, you, if it came down to Like this is this is uneducated. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just check this out though. Just check this out though. Just check this out. Just check this out though. Just check this out though. Just check this out though. We know our spending power, and we know that we don't spend with each other. So we could thrive in capitalism. We could thrive in capitalism with being a united front. Wrong. Look at you. I can agree with that. I How just want to say that I look at, you know, our spending, our capital, like our our per capita capital, like if we decided to invest fully and wholly in ourselves to take away from the businesses that are literally profiting off the backs of our slavery. Let me, let's be honest. Everybody in this whole entire country is a slave at this point. You have a birth certificate, you know what I'm saying? You have a social security number, you know what I'm saying? Like you have your name in all caps on your birth certificate, right? You know what I'm saying? You were basically docked at the moor as an unalived uh, specimen and you're traded on the public market. You know what I'm saying? We know these things. Everybody is enslaved. Everybody. Not everybody, but okay. But, but, okay, well, unless you claimed your nationality, unless you corrected your nationality, then you're still a slave. You know what I'm saying? If you still uh, use that birth certificate for anything and you haven't separated yourself from that to actually be a full separatist, which the IRS is trying to stop people from doing right now, Hold on. from actually separating themselves from that birth certificate itself Come classifies you as a business Truth. stock. Truth. Let, me, let me interrupt real quick. So this is why conversations like this turn into being harmful for black people. Because what you just said just there is, is going to be the talking point that white folks have when they try to dispute what actually goes on in this country to black people. About to spin to the fact, you know what I'm saying, that if we come together, I believe that even though, even though, even though I would completely love if everything just imploded on itself as far as this whole entire uh, uh, system of operation goes, I believe that we could come together and take over. I honestly do. I think that we could. If we would only learn to work together, like this conversation is beautiful. Everybody here has a different opinion. Some of y'all agree. I don't agree with none of y'all. I'm still here. Y'all haven't kicked me out. Y'all haven't booted me. You know what I'm saying? This is what needs to happen. You know what I'm saying? This is organization. It might not be full frontal unity, but you know what I'm saying? We're agreeing to disagree. And this is more than a lot of people even have the maturity to do in today's day and age. Why? Because COVID, uh, 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 it put us at odds against each other. And now we don't want to talk to the person next to us. Somebody coughs and we look at them weird. Uh, we don't want to have any kind of uh, communication in in like enclosed spaces. We wear a COVID mask. COVID didn't do that. Some, COVID, COVID, COVID didn't do that. It happened before, but let's be honest, it really magnified. Always unify with everybody, and that is the point as well, whether they're black or not. You can't, you like, like you. I'm, that's literally just like factual. There are people with ideologies that you're just not going to agree with. So there's literally no way that you can move forward to actually make some sort of motion together because you can't unify on something like religion or gender or something else. Like there's literally just going to be people that are going to be stuck in whatever ideology that they have. So unfortunately, the concept of unification, it is it is a wonderful one. It is something that we do need. Education, it is wonderful, and it is something that we do need, but not everybody is going to be able to receive that. Yeah, and and, uh, the, I definitely get that. And the the, the, the point, the, the reason why I said, like, the way, I guess, the, the context of this conversation in this day and age is counterproductive because 
at this moment in time, one thing that we can usually all agree on mostly, I guess, in this country is that it's fucked up from the top coming down. It doesn't matter your ethnicity right now. A lot of people can agree on that part. I don't think so, because then there's people like Jamal who swore by all God that <laughs> that LeBron was not oppressed. Like, I don't know if everybody truly agrees that it's messed up. He was over here talking about it being the best country <laughs> in the world. Why are you on both head like that? Dang. <laughs> because he said it. But, like, one of the bigger issues is that, like, we have people in the United States willing to say things without actually any empirical data or actually doing any dialectical analysis on the things that they think that they're talking about. Like right now, we have someone in the box who claims to be a black nationalist who has done zero dialectical analysis on black people in the United States. That's wild to me, yo. That's wild to me. Underneath the capitalist system, that's crazy to me, yo. Do we really have to analyze why, why, uh, why, why, other people? Why, why is it crazy? Why, what why is are you crazy? talking about? Do we have to I like, analyze our oppression? Hold on, hold on. Like, 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 why is it crazy? Even, even when we talk about in a capitalist and system and, and, and our buying power in this capitalist system, this is the biggest like, is, it, is it far fetched or is it 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 dumb to think that if we if we as a black nationalist if we united together and spent our money together and empowered ourselves together that we can overcome white supremacy in this day and age it is not it's it's not uh, it's not on us the way that it used to be systematically through 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 legislation it's still there but it's it's not there in a way that these conversations need to be had in the way that they're being had. It, you don't it, know it, doesn't, how it doesn't do anything. It, does, it doesn't do anything. It, it's, it's, a, it's a big circle jerk. Black people with it the becomes a big circle jerk. In the United States. You don't even know that most of the things that we don't like within the black neighborhood, I'm pretty fucking sure, are due to the imperialism through colonialism, which is a direct effect of capitalism. So this doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, it does saying, make like, sense. Oh, Listen. Yeah. The, listen, to, those things, those listen, the things that go on in our community is, are doesn't mean anything if we can't buy black without getting crushed by the National Guard that is funded by the U.S. government due to imperialist means. And they're literally throwing resources from black countries at black people who spend black. That's crazy to me that you haven't done that uh, uh, dialectical analysis. This shit is wild, yo. You saying you basically saying that that we shouldn't we shouldn't even be looking to to spend and unite with each other because because we should be afraid of the National Guard. We should be afraid of the United States government and the United States military no. so much to a point that we shouldn't be building with one another no, and I with think that to overcome and overthrow this. This no, is what I mean, is, because because at the same time you're not talking about fighting. You you you're steady talking about maybe on the on the sense of marching still. Is can that you what guys you're hear talking me? about? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I can, I can hear you. Yeah. Desi, also okay. check Instagram when you finish. Okay. Yeah. Watch my legs. Is that what you're talking about? Are you steady talking about marching? <laughs> Right. Is, so, is that the, is that that the approach that you take? Literally, I literally just talked about the effects of imperialism and how the National Guard marches within black people trying to spend money for black people, throwing black uh, materials at us for resources. But like the issue is, is that you're too busy wrapped up in your own fucking opinion to actually do any dialectical analysis on this situation. Like, nigga, have you read Fanon? This shit is easy, yo. Like, this is day one shit for black people. Please, Desi, go ahead. Please go ahead. I think the issue is you're not, like, acknowledging how every time we do something, they move the goalposts. Thank you for the gifts. So... I, that's, that's exactly what I'm talking about, is that we're steady playing the fucking game and then complaining the about them moving the goalposts, the but we're steady capitalism. wanting to play in this fucking game. Capitalism Get off is, the and field. Wife, can I finish? You didn't cut anyone else off. I don't know why you're cutting me off. Is it because I'm a woman? A black woman? No, I, I said we can talk together. I don't mind it. it ain't, I ain't taking it like that. You know what I mean? Did you cut me and Sean off? Is it because we're black women? He cut me off too a little bit. He didn't cut you off. Don't count me out. Don't count me out. He, he, he did a little bit. Off. He didn't cut you off. He cut us off because we're black women. Oh, he did. He did cut me off a little bit. Something, a little something. Yeah, don't cut me or the sound off ever again. Or, or Dr. Um, Dog Mom because we're black women and we deserve to be heard. Anyway, that's what I was going to say. Um, 
they move the goalposts every single time. Um, do you remember when we got the right to vote and they, they put literacy tests as a requirement for voting? Yeah, you probably know research. But yeah, it, it does matter. Because if we buy from each other and our buying power, they'll just move the goalposts. They'll make it so we can't buy from each other. Um in the way that, you know, you think that capitalism will work. Uh, in the future, they're going to make it so that you can't buy. It's going to be like the China social credit system. It's going to be crazy. Okay. First of all, this is how I know you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Hold on, Desi wasn't done. done. Desi was not done. I'm sorry. Desi wasn't I'm sorry. done. You know, it's okay. I just don't understand how people don't understand in 2023 when there's so many resources out there that capitalism and white supremacy are intertwined. So we can't we can't thrive in a capitalist system. We can't we can't thrive in that as black people because of white supremacy. It, it, it makes no sense. So in order for a black nation to succeed, we need to dismantle capitalism and turn to communism. Thank you. And China doesn't have a social credit system. So, so, uh, they so tried within one how, within, area go ahead, go ahead. in 2014. They tried it in one area in 2014 and they scrapped the entirety of the program. This is how I know you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. This is insane. Everything that you said has been either based in xenophobic bullshit or just a conspiracy theory that I'm 100% sure will lead back to Jewish people. Hey, 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 you took it there, but if you want to go there, I, who owns most of the media? I fucking knew it. I fucking knew hold it. On, I yeah, just hold, said on, it. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, that's Whoa. crazy, yo. You took it there. So yo. let it be known. They that's took it there. Let it be known. They took it there. My bad. Let it be known. They took it there first. But if you want to be honest, 95% of the media is owned by who? Can somebody please get this nigga the boot? Like, I'm just. Is that not, is that not coincidental? Are you against <laughs> hey, this, this, that's what this is. It's a Marxist type shit. And no, I can't be anti Semitic because Semitism has to do with being Afro. Yo, I'm Afro. It's so the <laughs> Marxism type shit. Watch my legs. Just, this, this man just said no. that we would be better off in a communist system. As you black people okay, in this country. Liberate, liberate it. Stop talking right I now. Caught that. I caught the communist part too. I you heard part. that like. This, this, you this, caught this, it like it was said subtly. It was said very blatant. Yeah, I think that you missed the part where indigenous communism worked for centuries. Before, hold on, like, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Stop real yeah. quick, Desi. Because before you put any more intellectual labor into this, I'm going to need this nigga to define Marxism right the fuck now. If we're going to have an intellectual conversation, we are going to define terms. Define Marxism. I'm um, also really quick before you do that. <clears throat> Okay. What I need everybody in the comment section to understand is that they're up here because we're having conversation with them. If you don't like that they're up here, then I suggest you guys leave. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Hey, yo, trigger warning for all the people who might be Jewish in this job, bro. It's about yes. so real well, anti-Semitic in this motherfucker, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that. I Let's love y'all. Uh, I love y'all. And there is to be no out. reporting of uh-huh. anybody in my box, period. If you don't uh, like the conversation, you don't like what's being said on either side, then you need to leave. That That's just what it is. I am not taking the bait. You, what are you talking about? You just said something that anti- You know what? You know what? You know what? It's not, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop the stigma and the let's Jewish understand what the truth is, to right? The Jewish people I, I, within the question. real truth. Shut the Who fuck owns up. Ninety-five percent. You are legitimate. The media. Anti-Semitic. Dog. You said ninety-five percent. Hold on. You said ninety-five percent. Yeah, ninety-five percent. Google it. Google it. Who owns ninety-five percent of the media? The media outlets. Yo, Look it up. Hold out. on, hold on. Wait, wait, tell wait, me, wait, and then wait, tell wait, me wait. I'm wrong. Watch Stop my legs. Talking. As as so as much as you're talking about white supremacy, as as much Jewish as we're talking people, about in the, that in this the room, Jewish people in this room, it's about to get real. It's already been very anti-Semitic. It's about to get Stop even it. more anti-Semitic. Stop you it. see why I threw that word out? He jumped. He I can't jumped be and anti- somebody. Anti- 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 nobody even brought up Jewish people, but you. Watch my legs, and then you're calling it's everybody mean, anti-Semitic. So, please understand. It's, it's he brought, like, they they brought, brought, brought it up, and then you called the, you call oh, the people oh, anti semitic oh, 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 They want to call oh, me oh, out. Oh, oh, oh. I got you. I got you. I got you. Thank I, you. I, 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 Fascinating. 
Okay. Um, Intriguing. I am perplexed. Shut up. The host is trying to talk. I don't forget what I was about to say now. But you just learned what flex meant today. You were, like, were going to say about, uh, I think, something having to do with uh, the Jewish. Uh, no, I, I feel like, it, it, am I, it, like Hebrew Israelite, like, where are we at in this conversation? Like, what am I missing? Yeah, he's a, he's a Hebrew Israelite. Okay. I do not classify as anything other than I'm a Christ walker. You know what I'm saying? I used to crip walk. Now I Christ walk. You know what I'm you're saying? Right. So that's where I'm at with it. I that's mean, once you're in, you're always in. That's how it is. That's how it works. You can't just... And, then, and that's gang gang. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, so, so yeah, just trick them on into all the Jewish people, because I keep getting interrupted by the anti-Semites. It's getting real anti-Semitic in here, so you might... Why, is, why did they keep saying that? Because that's I'll, what tell, I'll tell you why he said that. That's I'll tell you why he I'm said saying. that. He said Don't that, he said that I because I called him a Marxist. I called him a Marxist, and then he was so triggered and, and, defined, and went defined. there. I'm, I'm literally a Marxist. Right I'm like, I'm let literally... Me, let me speak right. No, you can't speak. Hold on, hold on, Sean. One thing I'm going to ask uh, again is one at a time. But if I start talking and y'all don't, I'm going to drop you. Period. I understand there's dialogue going on, but don't do that. Don't do that. I, I don't yeah. care how heated y'all are in the moment. Chill the fuck out. All right? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's that's my bad. I Did need y'all to do one at a time. I, I want to say <laughs> that this person has several times, several times. I appreciate you. Uh, I want to say that this person has several. She wasn't I'm, done talking. I'm all done, dog. I'm all done. Yeah, my bad. My bad. I didn't know. My bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm all done. Okay. Again, I need it to be one at a time. I don't care who says what. Everyone is choosing. They're giving consent to be in this conversation. But if we're going to have it, I'm not sitting here listening to y'all. We, we're about to tussle in a little bit. Right now, we're not tussling in that sense. So I need y'all to do one at a time. Okay, is we good? Like, we all understand? We on the same page? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we yeah. all right? Okay, thank you. So, I don't, I don't know who I interrupted at first, because everybody was talking at one time. Um, I'm I also going to say this, that we are going to narrow this conversation down. It's 3.40, so 4 a.m., we're going to stop it, because me and Desi had a different plan for the remainder of the evening. Yes. So, if we could just uh, uh, compartmentalize and not add on to the conversation, if that makes sense. So we all, yes, I want you all to be able to say what you want to say. All right, cool. Here we go. Yes, ma'am. I, so I, I just wanted to address the fact that, right, so point number one, I did not bring up anything having to do with Semitism or anti thereof, right? That was watch my legs. Point number two, I have not said anything against any particular party since I have joined this panel. That was uh, watch my legs accusing me of being said anti-Semitic. Point number three. All I said was, and I'm pretty sure that by now you've confirmed post that who owns, right? That that entitles ownership, right? That is not a negative connotation of any sort. That Correct. Is However, you, you, the way you weaponize that percentage, and that's not holistically um, accurate either. So let me just say that it's about it's about it's but about regardless, nine. you weaponized whatever could be true within that statement to just simply go against that, which is anti-Semitic. So that's not anti-Semitism because you have to say something harmful. That's in no way. That's harmful, harmful yo. What are so you what about? you're saying that's to me is, anybody. let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Um, so so uh, a, a white woman approaching uh -huh. any of these women in here and touching their hair or saying that you speak. Any of y'all, you know, y'all speak good or you articulate good. You know what I'm saying? For like a, a black person. Okay. Is that horrible? Or are these microaggressions not as dangerous? as? Oh, that's com that's completely inappropriate for anybody to touch anybody's hair. That's completely inappropriate. Or for somebody to, to kind of like say, oh, well, you present this way because of whatever previous bias. Right. But saying that somebody, if I went and said, oh, well, you know, black people own, you know, like 20% of that area over there. That's not harmful. 
So Yo, stop, stop saying that stop, stupid stop, stop, stuff. People stop, are anti-Semitic because they stop, say that Jewish people own stuff. Stop, stop it. Out, cut it out. Cut it out. Stop cut it out. It. Because Jewish people's, Jewish people's oppression is based within the idea that they own everything. I don't see every... it being oppressive. Stop talking. That you because own something. Jamal didn't, dumb. See, Jamal didn't see LeBron James as being oppressed, and he was wrong. That's dumb. So stop talking. To say that you own something oppressive, that's stupid. The entire point, the entire point of anti-Semitism is to talk about how Jewish people own everything, how Jewish people own the world, how Jewish people Stop have it. Everything. They're That's why that's all harmful. If I, harmful. Off, their if I was having a joke off, if I was to say, yo daddy's so rich, he ain't so okay, why not? That's not, that's not oppressive. Time. I would lose that joke off. Shut up. To say, I say, yo daddy's so rich, he owns 85 You're houses. You're not smart. You're not smart. Like, That's so what you sound it, like. You accusing it, me of being anti-Semitic, and I'm saying somebody owns something. That's stupid. Aggression, my dude. Their micro microaggressions are based in what they own and how they own the world. These are dog whistles, yo. Yeah, yeah. Micro my foot. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hey, hold on. like it's it's crazy how this took. That liberated, like liberated. That. Stop it's talking. Crazy how Stop I took talking. This like well, that. Listen, I'm, I'm not gonna answer it again, or I'm in the conversation one at a time. Understandable, yeah. liberated. Don't say anything else until what are you, you find talking Mark about. You just talked about Wells Fargo and not being able to get a loan. So damn offended. Stop. What? Wait. What do you? Wait. 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 Don't say anything else until you define Marxism. First off, because you still haven't done that, and you've been avoiding that. I haven't been avoiding that. I've been letting them talk just how the host had asked. You've been saying a lot of stuff, and I hear no definition for Marxism. That's because you freaked out, and you went into this whole anti-Semitic thing because I called you a Marxist. Straight up. See, this, is, this is what you do. That's this is what you what do. Happened. Rather than having an intellectual not back what and forth. So, so you're going to define it or what? A Marxism. Uh, to be a Marxist is, is, is somebody to come and, and try to push on those communist theories, that those political views. Define communism. You define communism. No, you know what I'm you're saying? You're saying it, dog. You're literally saying it. What are you talking about? You're making assumptions about me. And you don't. You, you guys are the ones that no. said communism would be the best bet for us. Yes, 100%. So you define it. You define it then. Since, since that's the system, since that's the way, you define it. Give us that definition. Since, so because I said that we could thrive in this one. So you with don't unity. know. With unity. And see. That's what I said. So I set a print. I set a uh, precedent at the beginning of this live when I said, if you're going to talk about something, it behooves you to know about it. And if you don't back it up with empirical evidence or definitions, if you're talking about terms, then you concede the point. So if you don't. Okay, so I did on Marxism. I did on Marxism. So now I'm I'm asking you to do the same thing with communism as you were with the panel and agree that that's the way for us to go. So define what that would be. So define what that would be. Define what that would be. Don't no no. Don't talk down on that. Educate us then. Liberated concedes this point. Uh, he's using words he doesn't know the meanings of, and he's just making shit up as he goes. You said so, I'm using words that I don't know the meaning of. I just yeah. define Marxism, and then you move the goalposts. Do you know what define you communism? Another? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You still ain't defined the communism. You still ain't defined communism yet. Oh. All right. I'll see. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm going to define it for you. All right. Marxism wow. is a critique of capitalism. So you're whoa, wrong. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Hold on. He said bye and dropped. He did say bye? Okay, because yeah. I, I thought I, I, I didn't catch the message. So he said bye. He didn't get reported. Yeah, yeah he didn't get reported. I don't okay, because think... I was about to say, if y'all would have reported him, I would have been pissed. Yeah, he ran. Oh, he so... said he was dropping. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right. So liberated. I mean, actually... Oh, damn, it's only been six minutes. Why the fuck it feel like we've been talking longer than six minutes? Because liberated is and liberated and truth are anti-Semitic. And when someone's <laughs> like bigoted, it's yeah. longer than what it is. So the issue, I like to call names and go at people's care. So the that's, issue that's is, is that stop talking because you call me a Marxist. So shut the fuck up. So when it comes to Marxism, Marxism is a critique of capitalism. Like that's what Marxism yeah, is. Literally. Like it is literally not someone who pushes the ideas of communism. It is a critique of capitalism within the basis of uh, what like Karl Marx wrote but it's simply a critique of capitalism as based upon like the workers relation to the idea of profit so you don't know what the fuck you're so talking that, about so that's the definition or is that I'm your opinion done. i'm not done that is the definition like stop I'll ask, uh, pat. Huh? So, pat uh pat dvs wants to come up or dvs wants to come up oh please please but uh, so communism is a stateless, classless, moneyless society in which everyone is provided for. Keep in mind, twelve minutes, y'all, before we move on. 
I'm going to say this last thing because I'm. I just want to define all these terms, which like I know for a fact that liberated doesn't know because you you haven't given any actual definition. Already conceived on these points, right? So socialism is a mode of production in which and we haven't talked about socialism yet. But socialism is a mode of production in which the workers own the means of production and the reason for production, which is the motive of production. That's what they call it. Um, is human need. Whereas capitalism is when the means of production is owned within private hands and the reason for production or the mode of produ or the motive of production, sorry, is for profit. Th those are the difference between the three systems. So if you're going to stay okay, Marxist, so no. be who you a to know what it is that you're talking about. Let me but ask you a question. On that I, point, we can move I, forward. So would I white supremacy not why. exist in, the, in those systems of communism or socialism the, mm -hmm. the way that they do in in and capitalism is that what you're trying to sit here and make that point of yes but go ahead divas hold on before uh, divas talks desi i think i heard her oh yeah i was gonna say i think the reason why you're so against <laughs> communism is because you've been indoctrinated to feel like a, a way about communism the same way we were indoctrinated to think that emma um that martin Luther king i'm not sorry that malcolm x was a villain um, the same way we were told that um, Harriet Tubman um, was a problem. The same way that we were told. Yeah, it didn't free, exactly the same way we were taught that that these systems that don't benefit us work for us. The same reason why you defend capitalism because you believe that you can work your way to the top when that's not the case because capitalism and white supremacy are intertwined and one can't exist without the other. I also feel like, let me um, say, do you know the actual like uh, definition of communism? Or are you just, like she said, basing it off of other communist uh, systems we've seen? Before I told him, he did not know. I'm 100%. So you did say the definition? I did say the definition, okay. but before okay. I said it, I guarantee you he didn't know because he didn't even know what Marxism was, and it's literally a critique of capitalism. That's the definition. And 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 like, is that not what we like within if 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 white supremacy can only thrive in capitalism, and and isn't that the critique on white supremacy within capitalism? No, it's not. But I okay, to yeah, okay. Couple of things. Hi, Eb. How are Hi, you? Babe. Hope you're well. You look stunning. Thank you, um, Bo. Couple of things. Right. I'm just gonna go through the ripple of things that I like because I've been taking notes. Right. I, I um, knew it. I, I was supposed to go to bed hours ago. My first day of classes is at 9 a.m. today. I'm not sleeping at all. I'm just gonna drink coffee and roll with it. Oh Lord. Um, by definition, right? The arguments that um both liberated and the person who was in the box that was in here earlier were um proposing about Jewish people, they are by definition anti-Semitic, right? Making a statement about someone owning a specific percentage of blah, say, blah, say, blah, in and of itself is not harmful. But when you take that statement and weaponize it against a specific group of people, that is what makes it harmful. And I think because you paused, they can't hear me no more. They can't hear me. I can't hear, I can't hear you. Okay. Well, y'all can't. I'm so sorry. I saw like five people in the conversation. I'm sorry. Right? So by definition, right? It was used in a weaponizing manner. So regardless of whatever context you had behind the statement, right, the initial statement was still anti-Semitic, right? In this house, we believe in the concept of impact over intent. Your intent can be true and clear, but the impact of your statement still stands. The impact was, in fact, anti-Semitism. And so all of the Jewish people who were in here and were forced to listen to that, I apologize to you, because that is not something that we believe in in this household. But me and the other guy were not talking about Jewish people. Watch my legs brought up 
Thank you. I was still people. speaking. I was still speaking. Thank you. Reclaiming seven my time. Min- eight, uh, eight mi- seven minutes. Seven minutes. Thank you. Um, point number two, as to what Sean already dictated on the concept of uh, Marxism being an active, a person who would actively um, critique the ideas of uh, uh, capitalism. Capitalism in and of itself is a tool of white supremacy, right? Multiple different groups of people all across the world prior to the uh, dominance of white people, right, across the planet, existed in socialistic and communistic societies, right? right? Or societies that blended some ideology of both okay so the idea that like oh we need to return to some form of communism or some form of socialism or a blend of both right is not something that's new right this is something that has been the social norm for centuries and then white people shut up and then change that right so white supremacy and capitalism are intertwined right now to critique white supremacy within capitalism is not a critique on white supremacy right but a critique of the system of capitalism which is in fact a tool of white supremacy for you to misconstrue that argument in itself is ridiculous thirdly just like one this is the third one and then i'll mute so that you can respond um this one doesn't really dictate any response in any way shape or form because i don't need a response from me. This is just fact. Um, the dude who was in here before me had stated that like they had patents on COVID-19, the va- virus. That is an incorrect statement and it's been itching my behind for almost like 30 minutes because what in fact they did have patents on was the research behind COVID-19 as well as the research into specific, um, what's the words I'm looking for, vaccines, right? So they patented the research, which would mean that no one else could conduct that research other than them. They didn't patent a virus because you can't patent a virus. It's fucking weird. But I'm a mute now so that you can, you know, speak. Also, I just wanted to say the Red Scare got y'all in a chokehold. No, for real. <laughs> okay, so so uh, I I just want to ask y'all: Are y'all are, are y'all aware of, or do y'all know of uh, Dr. Francis Cress Wilson and the and the keys to the colors, the Cress Wilson theory? Who again? Anybody on the panel? No, I, I didn't hear you. Can you can you say it again? Yeah, are are, are y'all aware of uh, Dr. Francis Cress Wilson? Do y'all know of her? Yes. Who's, What's who's your point? Yes, Dr. So, so, so speaking on, so speaking on white supremacy, and and the Dr. Francis Cress Wilson theory, it is a global system, in all nine areas of human activity. So whether it's a socialist, communist, capitalist, white supremacy is going to be what it is and how it is. Hold on. Um, I'm Arcee so sorry. Is in here? Right corner's in here? Yes, he is. Arcee, 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 Pat, say that again. They believe what? Uh, I can re. I can flip the camera that way. You know, we could all see it. Um, Wilson believed that homosexuality is one of the products of white people's race towards supremacy, using yeah. their own weakness as a weapon. She theorized that white people were the first people with albinism who were driven from Africa by the black natives. Um, no. <laughs> Yeah, she yeah. got kicked out of a few things, actually. I'm so sorry, because, like, from a logical perspective, right, people with albinism have existed on my continent for a hot minute, and I don't see yeah. them being driven off the continent, right? Um, this woman sounds like a crackpot, a cuckoo bananas person. Um, yeah, this is just she had some good points, but no. Most of it, I was like, uh, oh, is it kind of like a Dr. Umar? It's a hit or miss. Yes, yes. She is. Uh, like that's not something like I, 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 would, I would doubt it. It's kind of like she, she comes from. She comes from. She comes from a psychiatrist family. Are you okay? Uh, a black brothers? woman at that. Are you yeah, serious, my brother? G- generation. <laughs> <of> <laughs> it. No, no, like, please understand, my brother. My brother. <laughs> you need help. Can I, can I address this point, like, directly for the people in the comments more so than anything else? So this point um, that he makes about white supremacy being white supremacy in whatever system, um, this is why what I said before is mad important, and it's called dialectical analysis. So within dialectical analysis, we understand that when we... <clears throat> The issues of colonialism, 
due to imperialism, um, we address the issues of white supremacy as per they hold through socioeconomic class statuses of capitalism. What I just said, and, and just to summarize that in a few words, is that colonialism as a product of white supremacy, like once you dismantle colonialism, which is a product of white supremacy, you will dismantle both capitalism and racism. Can I just say amen? So is is colonial is colonialism is is that not worldwide? Colonialism is a tool of white supremacy. Colonialism, is colonialism worldwide. Have, no, have, has has white, white people right colonized the planet? They have not white colonized the whole planet. planet. Not the entirety the planet. of the planet, but there are like, whole sections. Uh, it, it's uh, like, right. It is what sections? There are indigenous what tribes what? all over okay. the place that have been Ethiopia basically untouched. The start has never been colonized. Ethiopia you can has... literally Google this information, my guy. Okay, There's so 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 Ethiopia even have never been even, colonized. Even even A lot Ethiopia. Of Thinking even Ethiopia, even Ethiopia, and and the Francis Cress Wilson theory, with this with this being a global Whoa. system, even Doctor Khaled Muhammad, with this being a, a system, even Malcolm X said when 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 he goes to these places, leave that man alone. Leave even man when when it, when when, when, when you go alone, to the, when you go to these different places, there there is this hierarchy of light to dark. This is this is a product of That's white supremacy. That's the systems of yeah. race. You wait, hold right. on. Of, of race, race. of race, of, of race, of race. Even within race, your entire argument, your entire argument is not only nonsensical but circular. You have literally brought yourself right back to the point that you started arguing, which is the systems of race being a tool of white supremacy. No one here has denied that, right? We just said that capitalism, right, is a product of colonialism, which is a tool of white supremacy capitalism isn't in and of itself okay it's but that but that's I'm what i'm talking speaking. about that's Thank what i'm you. talking about because i was talking. speaking i was talking. speaking i was speaking and you cut me I'm off i'm so sorry my it's, it's all it's all good yeah, i was I speaking one, though one, 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 one. i was speaking though Absolutely. i was speaking though one edit. hold on i know but i was speaking though you you I, jumped I, I you jumped in and told me I, okay can you not talk when i'm talking because you don't know what i was about to say you literally were in here when i said this earlier yeah, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to you. My bad, though. Okay. So, again, yes, let Liberate it finish his thought, please, before we interrupt. Thank you. See, now how hard was that? I could have said that five minutes ago. Okay, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Now you talk. So, with, with that being said, the the same way, the set, like, you're basically, what y'all basically saying is the solution to ending white supremacy is just getting rid of capitalism. Is that, is that, is that what y'all getting at or what y'all saying? Go ahead. I, so this is, this is mad, like, important. I just wanted to say, first of all, it's four o'clock. So this will probably be the last thing I say. And I noticed that everything that I've said has been falling on deaf ears. I said, addressing colonialism. Mm -hmm. through imperialism will mm -hmm. both get rid of capitalism and white supremacy. Dialect yo, dialectical analysis is a beautiful thing. Like nigga refanon. Just just refanon. If I may, that like oh, hold, this... on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let let Sean let completely Oh, I was done. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, for me specifically, right? What I don't understand here is like the entire your entire argument, right, is literally treating symptoms instead of treating the disease, and that logically to me Daddy. don't make a lick of sense, right? Because if Sean literally dictated multiple times, right, how right now the main issue is the ideas and concepts of colonialism, right, which have given birth to imperialism and thus capitalism, right? So in order to tackle right racism and white supremacy which are all products also of colonialism you need to ca tackle colonialism right and imperialism thus ending capitalism and white supremacy you see how like it's a chain reaction it's one two three four like when you knock over a little bit of dom you want me to draw you a, a diagram of dominoes you knock them over and then the other one falls over and then the other one falls over that's how it works right that's the point that sean has been driving for almost 30 minutes in this conversation and she has been doing so much 
of the Lord's work and how she has not lost her mind, I will never understand. But in this instance specifically, respectfully, the people that you have cited as evidence for like the arguments that you are making are either what I would call pseudoscientists and or crackpots, right? Or their, lo- their arguments don't hold up under logical consistency in any way, shape, or form, right? Your arguments in and of themselves have been actively circular, right? And nonsensical at the same time. I've never seen a person do that. And I've, I've spoken to people with very circular arguments and people with very ridiculous arguments. But I have yet to meet a person who does both at the same time. So congratulations. You have given yourself a prop and you have earned yourself a name in my book on the wall of fame of crazy people. Right? I truly do mean that. But in this instance specifically, I would like to ask of you, right, to please step outside take your concrete grippers out your shoes attach yourself to this earth right and then connect yourself right to our lovely little solar system reconnect yourself to the milky way galaxy and this ever expanding universe and be so expeditiously freaking for real because honestly <laughs> honestly it hurts to listen to you it really does uh, really, but I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt i know i said that we were going to end and we're four minutes past but there is somebody i would like to ask to come up <clears throat> um so if somebody would like to drop, I'd, I'd appreciate drop. it. Except Liberate, Liberate, you stay. <laughs> I, I think you'll appreciate this person who, who comes up if they come up, if somebody else could drop them. I can I can drop down. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I love you. Love you. And also, RC, when we're love done with this conversation, <clears throat> you might like the conversation we're having next. Ooh. Hey, King Conscious, you want to come up? You're lying. You're lying. Please don't play games with me. Don't play games with my spirit like that, Eb. I can't do this. No, RC is not going to come up for this conversation. This is not a conversation for him. Um, However, the next conversation does include white folks. So he can definitely come up and say what he would like in those moments. You know, in those moments. Um, But, oh, you don't have a backup? Yikes. I thought you'd be an asset to this conversation. All right, well, since he can't come up, we'll go ahead and let's round out um, this conversation. Um, Before you guys get to the the tail end of it, I do want to tell everybody, um, I will be shutting the live down once this one concludes. um, And then I'll restart it again uh, with the next topic that me and Desi are doing. Mm -hmm. Um, which has nothing to do with this. So we want to have like that quick break. When I first come on, I'm going to listen to a song or two just to get people to look at the background and start feeling the way they feel about it. Um, and then we will go on with the conversation. But King, if you have a backup and would like to come up for like maybe the next five minutes until we trail out this conversation, please feel free. I think Liberated might appreciate you in this moment. We was Kings. <laughs> <laughs> no, friend, we wasn't Kings. Remember, we used to be blue people like the Avatar walking on the sun barefoot. <laughs> No, we were on Pangea riding dinosaurs. <laughs> dinosaurs. <clears throat> even, even like, I just want to say this one thing. As an African person, right, born and raised. Hold on, I don't want to deviate. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Hold on. You, you, right. I'll be right. let's, let's stick to the tail end of this conversation. Uh, while we conclude, we'll give King Conscious a moment to see if he can come on. If not, then we'll already be at an ending point. You so, Davis, you said... As an African person, are, is anybody else like so? You you come from a different culture than the African American culture. Yes. Okay. Is is that is that the same for anybody else on the panel? Um, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear your question. What was it? I said, is that the same for uh, the other two on the panel? What was your or, question? Now? American half at, like Dominican. Why did somebody just ask Divas? Why do you call I, yourself African? He's up. literally African. That's why I put the passport up. I ain't got nothing to say but that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm half African American, half Dominican. But due to like family things, my mom was raised African American. I didn't even hear the question again. I'm sorry. No, I was just, I was just asking. Um, uh, is anybody else like African? You know, like. No, I was raised African American. Right. Yeah, I was about to say like my dad's people are from Nigeria, but I have no connection uh, to it because he didn't. I didn't know that about you. You see, I knew there was a reason why we got along. She's in Niger, yeah. <laughs> like, but I have no connection because my dad was so far removed from knowing. Hey, so, so 
You should come back with me when I go visit. I would fucking love. I'm trying to go in December for real. We gonna talk. Okay. We gonna talk. <laughs> Hey, so, so you saw Davis, like, uh... It's, I think it's Davis. It's Davis. It's Davis. I've been saying it wrong. Yeah, no, because cause I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little spicy this month. Okay. Yeah, Davis. <laughs> Davis, okay. <laughs> Like I so since I I brought up Francis Crest Wilson and that theory and so that's where that's where I would be founded in my understanding of white supremacy. So how would you define yours? You said it's illogical, but no, go ahead because she, she's she's accredited. To like define white supremacy for him because I, I could pull my notes up if, if that's okay with you. No, so I, I'm I'm ask. asking like how you look at it. Well, I I, I don't want to. Impose upon the host because this is her space. You know what? I I do. You're right. Somebody did point it out in the comment section. I don't think we've allowed Dog Mom to really chime in Perfect. as much as she should have been able to. So if she could go ahead and, I'm sorry, babe. Not a problem. Um, I've literally just been like trying to process a lot of what's been going on. <laughs> Me too, friend. <laughs> I'm just, I was just so lost. But I mean, like I said, Dr. Welsing, regardless of being accredited, that doesn't necessarily mean that you are correct or validated or validated in, in the things that are being said. Because again, the, especially about the homosexuality in Africa, pre-colonization, there are many accounts. So that's incorrect. But aside from that you're asking what is the definition of white supremacy i don't really like mm -hmm. understand uh, well, uh, well basically <laughs> through her work and her research is where i have my founded understanding in the definition of it in the nine so areas you, of human so activity. would you like to repeat the definition for those that have that are not familiar with her okay so her uh, the the Chris wilson theory is white supremacy is a global system uh -huh. and it exists First of all, it, uh, I'll just go ahead. It, it exists in the nine areas of human activity, which is um, politics, sex, education, um, politics. You said politics. I right? might have said yeah, that already. You already said politics. Um, I, like, I don't have it in front of me, but I usually can list them off. Like, the nine areas of human activity. So, like I said, mm -hmm. sex, politics, uh work or like employment education and there's just the nine areas of human activity it makes a lot of sense but within that theory it goes into she's a psychiatrist so she's we know she's that looking, you said that uh, right so the the definition and the understanding of it comes from the psychological mindset of white people and why they are so oppressive in their nature with that okay. understanding it, it allows you to be less emotional about white supremacy and more mm. logical and strategic because white supremacy exists just due to them um being genetically inferior they have to be on top and they have to based on their genetic survival they cannot mingle with us they cannot live in harmony with us because they will disappear if they get along with us they're they are attracted to us go ahead go ahead brother no let hold on no you completely finished go ahead no i see he got his hand raised i don't mind no no and that's talking, fine he's just raising along. it so yeah. that you know no, he wants to speak that's just me letting after. Know the way like i do that too he just is letting you know that he wants to speak after you go but go ahead though because i i'll be one i'll be one to talk when I, when I got something to say, I like to be able to just say it when okay. it's fresh on my mind, so I don't mind it. Go ahead. Okay. Um, firstly, uh, there's, there's so many things about, like, this sentiment that, like, makes my head feel like it's going to explode. First things first, right? This idea that, like, white supremacy is rooted in genetics is, is dumb. Like, I'm not blaming you, right? It's just a very outdated and problematic belief, right? Firstly, White supremacy isn't rooted in genetics in any way, shape, or form, right? White supremacy is an ideology. It's a ridiculous one, but an ideology nonetheless. Right? White supremacy is an ideology that that is uh, oh based on the belief that the white race is inherently superior to other races and white people should have control over other people and other races, right? Are this white is people... Do, uh, but isn't that I'm genetics? So, did you not want me to finish speaking, or do you want to just cut in again? Go ahead. 
But you just I'll contradict mute. Oh God, yourself. Todd is back too. Like they're all here today. I'll mute if you want to speak. I'm I'm not gonna interrupt you. I, 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 no, I invited you to speak. That's I, I, ain't, I ain't interrupting. Go ahead though. Okay, I, like I said, um, white supremacy isn't rooted in genetics in any way, shape, or form, right? Because you're not going to go through the genetic code of white people and find the white supremacist gene, right? It's an ideology. It's something that's taught. It's a belief that is held about a specific group of people. White supremacy in and of itself is one of, I mean this truthfully, one of the dumbest ideas that's ever been created by a group of human people ever. Because in and of itself, it doesn't make sense, right? It's an idea and belief that holds this idea that white people are inherently superior, yet there is nothing that actually proves that. There's nothing that grounds it, which is why it has been debunked multiple times in ridiculous pseudoscience, right? But, unfortunately, white supremacy was the ideology that was utilized to create the systems of race, which is what white supremacy actively utilized to deal out oppression upon people of color. They created a semi-perfect system, for them at least, right, that put them at the top and everyone else beneath them. And it allows them to dish out from time to time oppression whilst utilizing everyday systems. Within the United States of America, for example, you would have healthcare, education, um, uh, criminal justice, um, business, right. etc. right? So yep, in those are the nine itself, areas. I want to make this very clear. I want to make this very clear, right? In and of itself, once again, white supremacy is not rooted in anything genetic, right? Because when it goes to science, right? If I go through a white person's genetic code, I'm not going to say, mm, this is the gene that, that makes you predisposed to white supremacy. It doesn't exist. Okay, and, I, and I, like, so I'm, not, I'm not saying that, listen, I'm but, 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 like... I'm I'm agreeing with what you're saying. What you're saying is what she's saying also with, within white supremacy. And, the, and then the question is raised, why? And that's where she did her work at as a psychiatrist. I already explained why. I just explained why. Did you not pay attention? Okay. I think I think I'm it's, trying to figure out where you you said you explained yeah, why but what I was explaining was the Francis Cress Wilson theory okay. and what I was telling you is that you were actually speaking on in the nine areas of activity but this is this is this is in their concept of of why they have this system in place but the reason it's why for their genetic survival it is a false ideology that that's that 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 genetic strain is superior it, it, it's a it's it's not factual at all but that, talking about the replacement theory yeah that ideology is rooted right in the belief and idea that white people like genetically are predisposed to white supremacy which is not the case white supremacy is taught it is a very dumb thing that is taught Right, and why is it taught? Why is it taught? Because of white supremacy, continue to reinforce it, but it is in no way, shape, or form biological. I, can I can I jump in real real quick here? I think we're kind of getting on the opposite side of the epigenetic um, argument about how black people hold trauma in our DNA because of slavery. Therefore, people go with an inherent hatred that is then passed down? Is that what we're talking about, dude? Is that what we're going on? Because there's an opposite argument to the epigenetic state of we hold trauma in our DNA. So then the argument comes, oh, white people hold hatred as it is traumatic in their DNA. Is that what you're talking about? Are you talking about me? Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking, yeah, liberated, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. No, that's not what I'm talking about at all. I'm talking about the, the understanding of what white supremacy is so that we can be more strategic about dealing with it rather than being so emotional. Because the, the concept and, and the reason why these systems are in place is for their genetic survival. They cannot coexist with us in peace because they are genetically inferior. We would, inter, we would intermingle and they would be gone. That's the. So we're talking France. recessive. We're talking recessive genes and dominant genes. We're talking the ideology, the root ideology of white supremacy, and what it's there for. 
like I know you looked up Francis Cress Wilson and you you pulled something up that had her speaking on homosexuality or whatever and wanted to discredit her whatever she you know her work or her 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 theories you know what I mean but when it when it when it comes down to white supremacy she had pretty much put that in a in 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 a very uh, a very academic type of way to understand what it is and what we're dealing with and why we're dealing with it and and with that being said like the 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 number one rule in nature is self preservation Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, go ahead. Do you see how, and, and I, I'm just asking, maybe because maybe I'm the only one who's hearing it, right? And I'm just bonkers, right? Do we see how he's still perpetuating this idea that because of a genetic inferiority, that is why white supremacy exists? When in fact, that is not the case. Because white supremacy, the ideology in and of itself, is rooted mostly fucking ontology. It is a sociological concept, right? It speaks to how human beings interact with each other, right? White supremacy is just one big power play. It speaks to how human beings interact with each other. That's what you just one said, big right? Power play created by idiots. Like I, I don't know if eugenics is the right word for what you're arguing, but I feel like it is. It's, it's on those lines it because... Is. I need to pull yeah. the perm. It, it, it sounds like... It sounds like eugenics, right? Because eugenics is the belief that well, and a race is inherently incapable of like having children, so therefore they should be sterilized and not able to reproduce. That is the concept. So yeah, this this. So argument, hold on. So how does how do you get how do you get that out of what I'm saying? But because I'm, gonna, I'm I actually want to save my confused. energy to tussle. Like, like I'm, I'm one hundred and ten percent confused. I know. Uh, all right, literally, it's four twenty, so yes. four twenty-five. So yeah, everybody, right now, um, since Desi says she's gonna save her energy, um, dog mom, divas, and liberated. If you guys could like just round out the thoughts of the conversation, we can definitely pick this conversation up again at another time. I think there was a lot Please, of yeah. points to be discussed, <laughs> um, but because we had a different plan. Before I go ahead, because I was listening, Con King Conscious, King Conscious, King Conscious, King, King Conscious. Be for real. Not be for real. Be fucking for real. <laughs> yeah, fucking that's why I right. said they got to reattach themselves back to be, the be roots. Be fucking for real, dog. Be fucking for real. King Conscious. Did you know we was kings? <laughs> we was kings. Be 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 fucking for real. Listen, I, you know what? I, I appreciate you, King Conscious, but don't use caps in my chat, please. That's for my mods. Um, yeah. When, when do you say? When did? When? When does your um account come back? That you can guest live or go go live. When is? When does that come back? I thought he said the twentieth. The twentieth. So, when today, tomorrow, the Friday. What time? Friday. What time? Oh, the 29th. Damn! What the fuck you did? The twentieth. What time Ooh. on the twentieth? Yeah, 20th. Yeah, what time? 8.30, 9.30, 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock. What time? Because what King Conscious just said was that no one on either side said anything intelligent. Me, <laughs> me down. Which, okay, let me, let me know. I don't know, for those that aren't familiar with King Conscious, he's actually a very respectful person. Like, you can have dialogue with him. Um, but let me give you guys a little bit of insight into things he says and then i'm gonna leave it alone until we find out the time that he can come live um he said okay let me see yes being obese is a choice um depression is uh a lot of times just used as an no. excuse like that sort of thing so yes so i just want to know who wasn't intelligent but anyway uh i'm sorry i took up two minutes so for 27 you guys just kind of round out where we're at at the end of these convers at the end of this conversation um, just to round out for me specifically, right, um, I am 
almost 99.9 like the same way sean called it earlier i'm almost 99.9 percent .9 certain that this argument in and of itself is rooted in some form of eugenics i'm not sure which exact one but like from the from the from the trigger words that i'm hearing so far i can bet you that this argument should we delve into it on a different day with more time right is rooted in some form of eugenics right this in and of itself is a like i said a ridiculous and nonsensical argument because if you look at this from just like a genetic standpoint, right? There is no genetic predisposition to racism. There is no genetic predisposition to white supremacy. White supremacy is a sociological concept. It was created by people, very dumb people, very bad people, but people nonetheless. And for you to argue in any way, shape, or form that this is because of some genetic inferiority that leads to them not being able to coexist with other people, that, I am 99.9% certain if I dive down into the depths of that conversation, that is rooted in some form of eugenics. Some form of eugenics. Genetics and racism, oh, we're talking eugenics. But I'm going to just end it there, right? Because I know Ed wants to move it along. And I very much would like to toss it with this next topic because it sounds boozy. And let's be honest, I ain't going to You, you got class, baby. I, I don't know why I'm not. Class, so when I log off and come back, you better be asleep? I will be in the workout. I'm not asleep because it's 4 o'clock. If I go to sleep right now, I'm not waking up on time for class. So okay. I'm not asleep. This is going to be the same thing for me for work. Oh my god! <laughs> That's what it is. See, when I, I get off like, here, I can sleep all day. Like <laughs> I want y'all to be like, don't, 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 don't be over here. Don't blame it on me. I just want to say to the person that y all, y all. said racism is taught. Um, individual racism is taught, but racism is embedded yeah. into our system. Therefore, it's not taught um, on a right. system level. So, King Conscious, you're able to go live at eleven eighteen East uh, PST, which is two a.m. for me. I'll be up if you'd like to come have a conversation about anything. I'll be there. Uh, can somebody let me know? Because I would love to touch on that depression from a mental health standpoint. Like, I would love to. Because I'm in grad school a lot that. That, um, Don't get me wrong. I will say this. I'm talking shit. But he very much, uh, anytime I've seen him speaking and even the interaction I have with him, he's very, he is respectful and having dialogue. Oh, that's good. I'm here for respectful. But also, like, factual. Mm -hmm. like science and That's then also great. mental health and then I'll get rid of all the bot talk social. what the fuck that mean king Con listen i ain't talking to you no more goddamn it. go ahead um dog mom if you want dog mom if you want to close out what you were saying oh no i mean like for i was really just like trying to figure out what what he what liberated was like trying to talk about like for real but uh, outside of that i i can't i can't i can't get into that whole conversation all i know is is like to close out I, I really don't think there's a topic about white supremacy where people are sitting here saying that, again, because the entire world has not been colonized, there are spaces in which one can go and maybe have some sort of conversation, observe that culture and see like, hey, this is how people function without colonization. That's awesome. I wonder how we can like take some of this information and like turn it into something that we can use. So like, like there are places in the world that do function because they are not touched, but also uh, and not to like start a whole new conversation about it, but also people are very stuck in their ways and used to what they're used to. So if you actually go to some of these places in which it is not a culture of capitalism and which it is not a culture of white supremacy, people might not know how to function or like how it functions because they are used to the indoctrination of white supremacy at that point in time that's, that's the same reason why a lot of people when they go back to africa to visit end up trying to take the u.s back there with them and expect that they're in the u.s when they are not and they cannot adhere to the culture in which they have stepped foot that. on so all those things but that's it <laughs> i just read it what are your thoughts i'm sorry did i cut you off dog mom oh no 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 that's it okay. that's it Wait, Desi, were you saying something, honey? Yeah, I just want to say to King in the comments who called us bots, do you know when you look on Facebook and you see your old posts and you're like, my God, I didn't know I was that stupid? That's how you're going to feel in about six years when you look at your old, next old video. No, uh, let, me, let me say this, though. He's funny as hell. Like, funny, not trying to be funny, like telling jokes, haha. Like, he can keep up with it. I will say this because y'all know how I can, I can appreciate people who even when they say I'm stupid as hell, still stand on what they're saying and have these conversations. Like, I respect Liberated for 
for staying in and staying in. You know what I'm saying? Like, I respect these differing opinions because at the end of the day, whether people who are listening think that we're right or wrong, somebody's going to learn something somewhere. And that is important, right? Especially when I, I'm not changing the subject, but um, he, he's one of those people. He's he's funny, haha. Like, I ain't trying to be funny, but what you said was hilarious. Kiki, like that. Okay, go ahead, Liberate. I'm sorry, hon. Um, yeah, I just said, yeah, I'll thank you guys for, for, uh, in, engaging in the station. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Even sometimes when they got, when they went low, you feel me? I still, I still like to have these high level conversations that are deep like that. And so I do appreciate the, uh, the space and appreciate the host for how you do it. And, uh, I'll just say, I'll just leave it with, um, you know, just, um, with that. The, the Francis Cress Wilson theory, she's someone that's worth looking into. Hold on, who is she again? Dr. Francis Cress Wilson. Dr. Francis Crest Wilson? Yeah. Okay. Yep. C-R-E-S-S. Cress. Oh, yeah. Crest. Not, okay. Yeah, not Crest. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I, I said Crest. Okay, yeah, I, yeah. I wrote it down. I'll, the I will psychiatrist, I think. Yeah. I'll definitely yeah. look in, into her because I'm not familiar, so I couldn't even speak on that. Yeah, I only brought that up because, you know, in these types of spaces, this is a this is a type of space where um, you you do have the space right now to be able to make the type of impact on the subject that we're talking about. But if um, if if we can if we can talk about it with the proper reason and uh, the proper logic, it can actually go somewhere rather than it just being um, the same type of the same type of talk that we've been having for so long. I definitely appreciate that. So let me give you guys a little insight. I'm typing her name in real quick for those that ask. Um, Let me give you a little insight into the different types of conversations we have over here. We go all over the fucking place. Sometimes they're funny. Sometimes we do music reviews. Sometimes we talk about movies. Um, So what you're about to witness in the next live, um, there will be a topic um, up. And that is the topic we're speaking about. But don't come in here with... um, what am I trying to say? Like if you're like you ain't got no decorum. No, you you can have not decorum because that's the point. I just need yeah. y'all not to be like, oh my god, I just wanted someone to educate me because no, no, we don't com- do that for free. Okay. Um, what you say, babe? Can I address a comment? Oh, I'm sorry. I said Wilson. It's Westling Wilson. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Someone said because Africans aren't brought up on victim mentality. And um, they are accountable for their actions. I just want to say, stop, stop saying Africa, like, like it's a country, it's a continent. Um, stop saying Africa, like they're not dealing with the after effects of apartheid in South Africa right now and fighting to liberate their people. Stop saying Africa, like the experience in Africa is monolithic. Yeah. Stop speaking on Africa like you've, like you've ever been there, like you would ever go there. Like, you don't talk about African children in order to silence people. Right. Like stop talking about Africa. It's a white supremacist talking point when you use Africa as a monolith. Also, I'm African, and I very much agree with all three of these lovely women up here because they speak nothing but the truth. I'm African, and I can completely understand that white supremacy and capitalism is a negative for the world. I'm African, and I think there's something I just need to be expeditiously freaking for it. Right? Okay. That I'm African in there. And also, why do they speak English in Nigeria? That, that's a good question. Hello. I look at y'all right now, and I say, show go, your bye. It's mom, silent, no back talk. I know. Okay. All right, y'all. So this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna I'm gonna end the live now, but I'm literally coming like right back. So those that want to join the topic, give me a second to get the topic together. It's already done. I just gotta make it fit. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna listen to like a song or two while we reestablish the core. Okay. Love All y'all. Right. Appreciate y'all. Love you. Be back love in a minute. Thank you. Bye, Excellent. love. Bye. I'll be back. I was like, don't be undercover now. No. I, 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 don't worry, I'm not Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was thinking, like we about to have a good debate. <laughs> For real. I was like, damn, somebody who disagree I mean agrees with everything. Let's get into it. Alrighty, um, who was it? 55? 
Body count? Yeah, Dolores, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was saying body count, right? Why is, why is it that, like, in society today, it seems like when men say things that matter to, to us, you all tell us not to care about it or that it's stupid or it's dumb or, like, why can't men have things that, or preferences that they want, like, things that they care about? Okay. First things first, it has nothing to do with men. <laughs> it don't, like, at all, whatsoever. It has to do with body count, body count in general, man, woman, whatever. Nothing no, no, no. Men. But it's, it's about it's, men. It's, you don't have a problem that men care about body count. That's the problem. I'm not saying a yeah, woman has to. Exactly. And so it's about men. So it's like, I'm not saying a woman can't do what she wants to do with her body. That's do what you want to do. But a man caring about your body count, it has to do with us. It's, if the man wants to be, it's that's allowed. That's not a problem. Well, well. What makes it a problem is the fact that you guys shame people for having body counts, for actively wanting to participate in having sexual intercourse with people. Like, it's a part of nature. It's a thing people do. It shouldn't be shamed. It shouldn't be looked down upon. You shouldn't be looking at women as less desirable or not wifey material or, or but, you know, but oh, it's, this, this, and that. But isn't that a normal phenomenon that, like, men do things that reduce their sexual value? In society, and women judgment off of things. Women do judgment off of things that we don't judge y'all off of. Like it's just things that make sense to y'all, and we don't even question it. Uh, okay, that's cool and all, but you're asking why it's a problem when men, or like when men have these so-called preferences, and I'm telling you, it's because men shame people for having for having high body counts. They shame women. And then uplift their best friends, their little homie across the corner, for having a high body count. So okay, okay. How is that? Okay, how is that any different? How is that any different from women that shame men for like being short? Like it's, it's yes, they shame oh, men for being it's, short, but they have friends that walk around as five. It, it's it doesn't. It's not the same. It's, it's false equivalencies. It's like yeah, it doesn't matter. If my friend, we, you, we're is not five comparing. Two, you're like but a guy being five two. Off, so you're going off subject like you're comparing physical attributes to sexual intercourse like i don't know how you compare but, but it, it goes hand in hand though like because physical we we we, we it like doesn't, to be attracted though. to both yes it does like physical attributes it, go hand in hand. what's the relationship to the person you are wanting to connect with just the relationship please